Virgos, hi, this is your reading for November 2020, Summer Rising Venus Sign. Let's go ahead and jump in, okay? Keep an open mind, Virgo. Is your person different? Huh? Your person different. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Be shorter, taller, possibly. Okay. Another nationality. Something's different about them. Maybe the way they communicate is different. Okay. The way they express their emotions towards you is different in some type of way. Okay. Hopefully they should openly. Abundance is coming in. Someone will open up towards you. That's what I feel. I feel like you're going to get a shock here. You're going to um, be surprised about how open someone is. How generous someone is here. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. Give me the cards here for Virgo. Thank you. Ooh, yes. Page of Pentacles moving in towards you. Just your energy, their energy, or the situation, okay? We have the Page of Pentacles coming in, Virgo, and the Devil card coming in. A lot of temptation. Um, you may have a bad boy or a, <laughs> a bad girl on your hands here, all right? Uh, with the Devil card coming in, for some reason, it's not making me feel bad. It just feels like your person may be a little wild, okay, on some levels here. Um, not toxic, though. I don't feel that quite yet. Let's go in. Ace of Wands. This is your person's feelings. And the Eight of Pentacles here. They move very... Eight of Pentacles. Sorry. Eight of Wands <laughs> coming in here. I'll be seeing other stuff, y'all. Okay. Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands here. A lot of quick action, quick thinking, moving around. You're going to experience a lot of things with whoever this is. They said keep an open mind about this person. They're busy. That's what I feel. You may be dealing with the fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person will move very quickly with you. Be doing a lot of things. You may meet a lot of people uh, because they know a lot of people. Um, or a lot of people admire them, okay? Um, but I feel... Yeah, expect communication very fast from this person, whoever this is, or expect this person to be on the go all the time doing something new. Here. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Ten of cups. If you've been waiting, the wait is over. Here, Virgo. Okay, someone is coming in. Um... I feel like their heart will be open. It's going to surprise you. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. That is so damn beautiful. Hmm? Off on another journey, are we? Okay. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like you will. Um, and it won't take them long because I feel like someone moves very quickly. If they see something that they like or want, um, this person will express it openly, okay, or be willing to communicate, send you messages. They will let you know that they are interested here, okay? If you're already with this person, buckle up. That's what I'm feeling because you got a wild one there. But I feel like their heart is in the right place with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. They may be go-getters, workaholics, okay? Always on a go, wanting to travel, things of that sort, like, like spending money, like lavish things, okay? Want to spoil you in some type of way. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Deception. Whoa! <laughs> Someone is wearing a false um, self-mask in this relationship. What's going on here, Virgo? Let's go in, okay? The situation will improve here. So that doesn't make me feel too bad, okay? You got someone that loves nice things, okay? But they also want to share their life with someone with the two of wands coming in and the nine of pentacles. You may feel like this person is not being honest with you here, but I feel like in some way we all wear masks in some way, okay? When we first meet each other. Um, 
this person just may like to be very showy like they show off what they have um they have status they have money they have friends they have connections they travel they do this they do that okay the situation will improve i feel like you will be able to get to know whoever uh this is because they'll be open enough to do that here okay all my cards are in reverse let's turn this around okay sorry about that page of wands is coming in towards you picked up the deck wrong we're not taking all reversals because the cards are all upright because that's how we're reading them okay page of wands is coming in movement with this person what's going on okay i'm going to look at their stuff in a minute i okay the three of pentacles is coming in the reverse position for some reason i felt like this was not any reversals in here i guess there are some if they come out then they come out here okay three of pentacles is coming out in the reverse position so when I said this person is busy and always on the go, I feel like they are. You probably will see this as well with the Three of Pentacles um, in reverse. Is someone that works very hard, maybe burdened by a lot of wor uh, work or a lot of responsibilities um, and a little unorganized. So when I say they wild, they're wild here. Okay. Yes. Their energy. Four of Swords and the Nine of source coming in as well let's see what this is all about for some reason i'm feeling like there will be some type of hmm. let me just pull these cards i want to clarify them two of wands Three of Pentacles. This person may pull back momentarily. That's what I feel. Okay. Their mind may get in the way of this relationship. Them being too busy or busy with other things may take them away from the connection. You have deception here and the situation it will improve. This person may be um, scared of love in some type of way. Um... Mm. or dealing with things mentally personally in their personal life that's what i'm feeling when the swords show up it talks about someone's state of mind okay nine of swords is coming in here talking about this person fearing the worst or fearing something will turn out in a negative way and being worried about it and pulling back somewhat here but i don't feel like they don't want a connection with you okay Fear may take over somewhat, but you have the three of pentacles coming in, the consultant, which is you, and the two of wands, which says faithfulness and affection will be shown from this person nonetheless here, okay? And I don't feel like things will get in the way, but yeah, um, their state of mind may be conflicted some here. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and there's something better let's see what this is talking about the cards here for virgo there's something better Ooh, all right for some reason, I wasn't prepared for the reverse cards that's coming in here, okay? Um, you have the six of swords coming in the reverse position. You may feel different about this person for some reason. Let's see. <laughs> okay. The hangman is coming in the reverse position as well. What's going on here? Why would your cards flip on me? Here. For some reason, you may feel very, it may start off very good, but as we're going here, I feel something will change in your mind here about your situation with this person. Okay. 
okay this person that you're dealing with has a lot going on they're very busy very on the go with all of these wands that keep showing up it's either work their career school whatever they're doing in their daily life okay i feel like they are very busy here but it feels also like they're trying to find balance um in their life at this moment why are you telling virgo there's something better here Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords coming in the upright, in the upright position. Okay, uh, hmm. this person may not always keep their promises. This is what this is making me feel like. They may make promises and break them because other things pull them away. Okay, yes. The two of pentacles that is coming in makes me feel like it's something about work, money here. But it's also letting me know that there still will be a positive outcome, okay? I feel like your person may notice you pulling away mentally. You may not communicate with them the way that you used to here, okay? And you may pull away. This is what I'm saying. But I feel like this person would not want to lose you due to other things overwhelming you here, okay? And there will be some type of change within them where they find some balance. That's the energy that is coming in with the strength card here, okay? Maybe they have the courage or um, they have this feeling where they want to tell you exactly what's happening in their life. Because there are things that they are hiding, okay? Or there's something that they don't want you to know about them. I feel like this person will eventually communicate this information to you. Or be straightforward with you why their attention is off of you. That's what I'm feeling here. I don't feel like it's really something negative. The devil card is not showing up. Death card is not showing up. Well, the devil is right there. <laughs> you got your buff wild one. Still... Okay, but I don't feel like their heart is in the wrong place. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. I feel um, whatever this person is dealing with mentally, they will definitely work it out within themselves with the strength energy or the strength card coming into your reading here, Virgo. Someone's going to straighten out a situation. Um, I feel like let me get one more card for this strength card it does feel like something is kind of controlling them it may be just money it's them trying to be successful okay or bringing in su success okay um towards themselves here the ten of wands is showing up again <laughs> Ten of Wands, them being burdened, okay? Possibly tired, worn out, ground down here, okay? By life, mental struggles, things that may keep them up, things that may worry them. Maybe it is their finances and their career that is totally overtaking them. Bills, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like your person may be ignoring their emotional needs. Um, they may be ignoring your emotional needs if they're not taking care of themselves either here. Okay. So I see you kind of turn it away because you feel at some point someone's not paying attention to you. But I feel like it's life that is actually throwing them off balance here. Okay. Them struggling through things personal things in their own life strength cards letting me know they will somehow get it together okay the 10 brings us to the end and on to a new journey or um the end of a struggle here that's what i'm feeling okay let's get a message for you here for what message do you have here for 
my Virgos. Okay, didn't we just talk about this? Stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive, okay? This is either you or your person that's going to be going through this, okay? Needing to de-stress. <laughs> One more message here for Virgo. This could be you as well, okay? Ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. And I feel like someone is, whoever this is, they're a lover, okay? That is concerned about the future of their life and something has got them quite stressed out, okay? Which in turn stresses you out because someone is wanting to connect with you or they're already connected to you okay i don't feel like they want to leave a connection or there's some other person in the mix no i feel like it's definitely definitely just financial issues possibly that are affecting their emotions and the way that they act in a connection with you okay but nonetheless they're saying keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations they may just work harder right Okay, the situation will improve for you here, Virgo. No worries. Okay, thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I gotta say, okay, it's so okay. End the reading, like, okay, Diane, that's enough. <laughs> I love you guys. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye.